guys, welcome to the Flory Models Daily Show. Here we are on Thursday, the 25th of August 2016, and I can report because obviously people wind people up. The computer is working a dream. Uh, last night, I completely stress tested it and everything else like that. And I'm happy to say that I did a, uh, a private live stream as well when I was gaming, just as that would really stress it out completely. Um, I didn't air it or anything, it was just it was actually live streaming to no one. Uh, but I was playing gaming online and uh, it worked an absolute treat and trust me if it was going to fail it would do it then because let's face it the stress of running a game and obviously streaming at the same time and it was recording it and all the bits and pieces that goes with it and I have to say it performed flawlessly so I think touching wood we are out of the woods now and we can now just move on which is great because I know a lot of you have said we obviously had many conversations now in the forum about it uh, about the feedback we had yesterday thank you for all your feedback you love the vlog you love the way I'm doing it now and all the bits and pieces it's great to see as I said it was always supposed to be just that little thing where what I try and bring across is how I live and work um, as in that you know uh, I've shown you how to model over the last 15 years now uh, and everything else like that and I just wanted to show you that I'm just like everybody else it's not that I'm in a complete bubble and I'm immune to everything and uh, you know that everything is just sort of rosy okay as you know with my videos the way I do it, it's very raw ie when I make a huge mistake or there's a cock up I'm the first one to say hands up that went wrong it's not like when you read it in a magazine or perhaps other people when they do it where it glosses over the nasty bits um, it's a case of that's gone wrong that's why it's gone wrong and I'll show you how to fix it so what I also try and show now doing these vlogs is that you know it is more to just modeling what we do here that was the whole point of it I wanted to show you about the editing I wanted to show you about our equipment we use and everything all around here and you're right it is start spilling into sort of one of these vlog type things where you're following my life around I do try and keep the kids completely out of it um, and obviously we try and keep the family bits and pieces out of it and yes we all have our ups and downs and all the bits and pieces like that so I'm just trying to you know the central thing is obviously the modeling and just showing you the bits around the edges uh, and all the rest of it and it just in a way I've always tried to strive that modeling is a very lonely hobby let's face it it's very rare you get a group of friends around and you all have a, a modeling uh, type of event okay and uh, you know talking shop and stuff like that unless you're in a club unless you're going to shows you don't do it and for years when I was doing um, commission work solely I didn't speak to anyone because I didn't even have time to go on forums and the internet and stuff like that because I was too busy working. Uh, so I always try and bring this over that if you can't get to a club, a show, whatever, things like that, that hopefully just by us showing the other side of things, it's just showing that we are all human and we are all friends and this big sort of flory family as we call it and all the rest of it. So when things do go wrong, we can talk about it. When they go right, we can talk about it and everything else. But the core, the nucleus in the middle is always is going to be modeling so don't panic we're not suddenly going to start you know I don't know walking the dog and the first bits and pieces you know um, that's what it's all about but I do want to show it so when we had a problem obviously with the computer not only did it affect me massively it affected you guys because I couldn't work I should have had that built last week to be honest that uh, 190 should have been finished last week but because I spent hours and I actually I totted it up yesterday just to have a bit of a giggle I reckon I spent seven hours on the phone or writing emails, which is a day's work technically, um, where I should have been modeling. So it did affect everything. Uh, and obviously from a point of view, we invested a hell of a lot of money back into the company to try and speed things up, to bring you a better quality of service. Obviously the whole point of this system here, twofold thing, forget me gaming and the vibe and all the rest of it, it's purely to one, speed up editing, because editing takes a long time, it's the rendering time, so a half hour video on the old computer would take an hour and a half, this one is almost one to one now, so if it's a half hour video, uh, it'll take half an hour to render it, which means it gets up early, quicker, it means technically I can render three videos in the time it would take to do one on the old one, so it speeds things up, so I can get videos faster, quicker out to you, because sometimes I might edit them, but I haven't got time to render them, because I need to edit perhaps a new show, or a vlog, or we're live streaming so this way I've got two relatively good computers one now a supercomputer one you know good computer so I can have one upstairs and it's rendering and doing things and various bits and pieces where down here I can be live streaming where before I couldn't do that things like that 
you know and the other thing as well is for live streaming we are having trouble with the old one uh, we had technical issues Steve on the old one can't see what we're doing live he has to wait there's a 30 second delay between what I do here to actually when it is shown on the internet on YouTube so he has to wait and watch it so it was very much a problem for Steve to be able to see us in real time what we're talking about so when I show things on there he's got to wait to see them this computer we don't have that trouble it's got the guts to be able to do Skype call in full HD and live streaming and all the cameras running into the capture system and everything else like that so although I know a lot of people you know you were saying no it's fine it's great and all the rest of it it's not really it's the last thing I want to do is just go on rants and complain about things but the other thing as well you know me you know scan computers you know I still got a big problem with them because this is fixed now touching wood as far as it is it seems to be fine but what they've done to fix it is what they told me they were gonna do last week but they never did, so it took a week of them messing around to get to where we are now. So that's why I had a problem with them. And to be honest, you could tell they were, you know, I'm not gonna say lying, but they were forgetting what they were telling me. So they were saying, we've done this, and it's like, well, you did that two days ago. And the various bits and pieces, okay? So it was almost like I was being strung out, I was getting frustrated, like everything, um, but now it's sorted and we're all good to go. So hopefully now, as I say, we can draw a big line under it, we can push on and move through. So it enables me to do more on a daily basis it makes me more productive uh, and it means I can leave things running and go off and I'm not having to babysit it you know the computer to make sure it's doing it and various things like that and you know sometimes you have teething troubles like everything hell I'm people have bought brand new cars I've had trouble with cars and that and you think it's fixed and it's not and it, it's one of those things you just it takes up time and it eats into you but I thought it affected you that's why I mentioned it and obviously with scan computers if you did want to buy with them if you didn't buy with them personally I don't think I'm going to do it again um, but you know it is working now so hands up we can move on from that so uh, me today I'm going to try and do two reviews um, probably around about midday to this afternoonish is my plan I am going to finish off the 190 which is as I left it last night as you saw it last night's new show she is sat here she is all ready to go this angle is a far better one the one I show you isn't so good but she is down there and everything else thank you very much to the person who said about the um, de-icing well not de-icing apparently it's a windscreen thing I was on about the brass bit up here on the canopy um, he's messaged me and actually said what it is it's fuel is taken from the engine and it's sprayed at high pressure to clean the windscreen it's like a windscreen cleaning and the chances are it would have been in brass so you could have left it but anyway I have toned it down now it's still you can see it's in a nice metal color um, but I think it will just look a bit better but generally I'm really really happy with it I'm gonna spend the next probably hour maybe two hours playing with it now we've got to put the aerials on it we've got to get various things in there I'm gonna put some kerosene leaking um, on those hatches that are open and underneath it we need to weather up those pylons we spoke about last night and various things like that and then I can get on with editing it all up uh, so it completes it and gets it out of the way uh, and is done and it sounds horrible when you're saying it gets it out of the way we can then move on to the armor and all the rest of it but I'm planning on doing that one today doing both the reviews for today and tomorrow's review and then Friday I'm actually gonna start on the actual chief uh, and push through with that one and make our way through and then obviously over here in the stash um, we are going to be then starting on to for the Gundam for the Japanese group build really excited about that one I keep seeing all your great work in the forum and everyone's doing these amazing things saying how wonderful they are and I'm stuck because I can't get on with it and something as a little bit different I'm going to be doing the actual uh, Mitsubishi uh, F1 in the special markings straightforward out of the box I'm not even going to put anything into it it's going to be a, uh, a almost back to basics build um, you know sometimes after doing a very uh, big build something like you know sorry I'm just wondering why my autofocus uh, manual focus there we go there we go sorry um, I, um, you know, it was one of those things. Sometimes when you do a huge big build and everything else like that, the last thing you want to do is go straight into another one with another huge big build. But hopefully with this one, we'll be absolutely fine. See on this side, it's really dark. So all the cameras are lit for the other way. Anyway, so plan this morning, literally going to get on with this one, going to push through with it basically finish it off not totally you're going to do some little titillations with it but that'll be next week okay and then as I say we're going to get the reviews I'm going to do those very excited about doing that um, uh, SU85 not SU85 what is it oh this is an SU85 this guy I know a lot of you have seen this one as well so I'm looking forward to reviewing that so that'll be up with you tonight uh, and then obviously we're going to do that MiG-21 which is as we know is a rebox but we'll look at it anyway as we make our way through so there we go guys I'll catch you all a little bit later on 
Okay then guys, so I've just finished reviewing the Mini Art kit and I have to say, I've reviewed some kits in my time. In fact, I've reviewed lots of kits in my time, but that has to be the, one of the best kits I've ever reviewed. It is stunning. The level of detail for something that's straight out of the box is nothing short than exceptional. So a quick sneak peek here is a look at the piles of sprue you get just out of the box with this kit is absolutely incredible. But this is, as I said, probably the finest armor kit I've ever reviewed. It's as simple as that, purely because of all the work goes in. Okay, it's not perfect. The tracks are supposed to be clickable and workable. It's not a good design at all. The pins which hold the tracks together, um, they just fall apart because the pins are too long, so they snap off. If they made them smaller and domed, then they would fit a lot better. But generally, I have to say, I've been obviously reviewing this kit for the last sort of 20 minutes, and it is absolutely stunning. Well worth having a look at. The other thing as well, to be honest, um, I'm gonna show you over here. In fact, I'll bring it over, if you can see. We have finished almost the um 190 is almost done in fact if i try and bring this around this side you can probably see a bit better but um yeah the 190 is basically done we've got it all together we did the aerials this morning all the bits and pieces like that it is literally just a handful of little details need to be finished off on this one and it is absolutely finished very very happy of how this one's come out. It's just been one of those kits where it's been a pleasure all the way through working with all the aftermarket bits um, and some of the stuff we did like riveting and all that type of stuff, it just worked exceptionally well. So we put the aerial one, as you can see down here at the back, I've used a different camera angle for that. The ladders are on, all the bits and pieces. As I say, there's just some final details to go on this. Final little, just a few little titipations really still to go with it, but it is completed. So there we go, as I said, quite a good day. What I'm gonna do now is review the actual MiG-21 just to get me ahead and everything else like that. And then tomorrow what I'm gonna do is do a little bit of post time because some of you guys have been sending stuff and bits and pieces, we can look at that. So anyway, that's it for now. I'll catch you on tonight's new show. Okay, so a really good day today. I must admit we've pushed on and we have completed the 190. Uh, I have to say it has been a journey i suppose the only way i can describe it is journey we did this video build different to anything we've done before um i've still got a lot of editing to go with it probably got another two maybe three parts to come uh, until you've really caught up with it till the end but this particular one i wanted to show you in a different way so we didn't just want to do and here's opening the box and we go right the way through it and here it is at the end i wanted to show you certain areas in extreme detail um, without any ed edits cuts and all the rest of it so this one we did completely different so instead of us just sort of doing only rattling through a build we did a full build of like a one hour on building and painting just the engine, that's all it was. Then we did one about doing the props. Then we did one about doing the cockpit. Then we did the other one about doing the gear. Then we've done one just about paintwork. Uh, then we've done one just about obviously riveting, which was a massive thing on this uh, to show the riveting, which hopefully, you know, has really showed you everything you need to know about riveting from now on. Um, and then obviously I've taken my time to show you about mottling. Okay, so this has actually turned this into a, it's gonna be a 15 or a 16 parter uh, of this particular build. Um, and really try to show everything as is. Okay, so there's no edits, cuts, and everything else. So it just keeps it so a point of view of a reference. So you can come back to it at a later date and you wanted to know about an engine, you could just go off and look at the engine part on this. You want to look about riveting, you can look at the riveting on this, or you can take it as an all in capsing, you know, build. Because normally it would be like, you know, 15 parter, half hour builds. Okay, so it's going to be like seven hour video, you know, eight hour video. But this one, because some of the parts are an hour long and all the rest of it. This one's more like a 15 hour build uh, video. So it's a huge undertaking to sit down and watch it. So that's why I've sort of broken it up into segments. So if you are following along with it, kudos to you, but you can take parts of this and use it with another build. So riveting, you can take our thing about riveting with this one and say, right, okay, love the way that one turned out. I'm gonna use that on another plane, okay? So perhaps like for me, I'm looking now at older jets and older kits that haven't got riveting detail and looking at them in a total new light thinking, two hours it took to rivet that. I could take a normal kit like this one was and upgrade it into a fantastic kit 
just by riveting it uh, and things like that. So that was the whole point of doing this particular build. I hope you've enjoyed it and you enjoy going along with it. I've really enjoyed doing it. Lost my mojo a little bit in the middle because it was just seemed to be on my desk for too long. But now it's done, I think it is well worth all that time we spent on this one, going through the motions of it, doing all the bits and pieces to it and everything else like that. So today I literally just did all the little titubations to it. Um, we've gone along, we've put the boarding steps on, we've put in all the aerials, we've done the toe area on the back, we've done those blobs on there with PVA glue, and I've showed you in detail all about those. We've gone along and done a little bit of staining through kerosene stains and stuff like that, right the way over it, really just to bring this one together now. Um, and as I say, it's one of those builds where I've just thoroughly enjoyed it now. And we got to these latter stages and into it, and I was, that was it, I was on a roll. Anyway, that means that's completed. So that enables me to get on with all the other stuff. And trust me, they're not gonna be as big a build as these have been, but we're gonna have a lot of fun doing all the other ones. So today also, to be honest, I've a couple of reviews for you. We've reviewed this. Now this is the SU85. It is stunning, as you saw a minute ago. Go off and watch the review of this. If you're even remotely interested in hyper-detailing a tank, look at this thing, because mini art, you've just gone from well, Mini Art. I used to always think of Mini Art of those company who used to build um, uh, trams <laughs> and things like that. Now, like, boom, you're there. Absolutely, because I love that kit. If I was a real armor guy, I would just buy this kit. So if you are anything into armor, just go and buy this kit because you're going to absolutely love it. It looks fantastic. As I say, I'd love to see one built, and I'm sure they'll be popping up on the forum very, very soon. A little bit too heavy for me to get involved with that one, if I'm honest at the moment but that one's up. The other one, to be honest, I've just reviewed the um, MiG-21. That'll be up with you tomorrow. Uh, let's face it, it's an Eddard Rebox, and I must admit, I have a little bit of a bitch about the pricing, because as I say, if you go for a normal one, they are 20 quid. If you go for the Profi Pack one, it's uh, 30 quid, or you can go for one of AK's one, and they're 55 quid. Where's the justice? So anyway, we'll be looking at that one tomorrow. So tomorrow, now the computer's running and all the rest of it, we're gonna be having a good look at your work around in the forum, okay, and the other bits and that, and then I'm gonna start on a piece of armor. So until tomorrow, everybody, happy modeling. Take care.